Hello, all my nerd friends out there. This is Mr. Chill here, and we got to talk about Bleach, Thousand Year Blood War, Episode 7. And wow, very emotional episode, you know, it hit me right here. Because right in the beginning, it was cool, very first beginning of this episode, we got the first a glimpse of the first war between the Quincy's and uh, the Soul Reapers. The first uh, 13 court guard, I think it's the first maybe, um, uh, Yamanoto's 13 court guard back then, and uh, Yamawatch's force. And ooh, dude, Yam uh, Yamanoto's 13 court guard back in the day was savages. They're butchering those Quincy's. Dude, it looked like I was watching an episode of Berserk or something. Just they're killing them, smiling. They're like savages, like yeah, I'm watching an episode. Yeah, they're a bunch of killers. There, there, there was no respect or nothing. You just slaughtered. Um, and it's like, damn, kind of which. Hopefully, one day we get OVA. It'd be cool of that war between Yamawatch and Yamanoto. Um, that Soul Reapers versus Quincy back then, and see how those um. Uh, those captains were like back then how those squad captains were that would be pretty cool i would love those like a three-part ova to learn them how their personalities how they act they look cool even the end credit we got like little all the pictures of all the 13 court guards back then and our 13 court guard now so that would be pretty cool that was cool but damn y'all watch no mercy just slice yamanoto in half rest in peace rp yamanoto Oh, it sucks. He was cool, man. I, I, Yamawatch was smart, but it was dirty last. He used the clone. Yamawatch used all his power on the clone, not the real one, and got sliced. And even, even in death, Yamawatch tried to stop Yamawatch, and Yamawatch just vaporized him. And all the captains felt his loss, felt his spiritual pressure fade away, and heartbroken. And like I realized, they all lost. They all basically. Got beat by their other. They lost the motivation to fight. And even when it was even more harmful, we see Ichigo kind seeing all the Reapers dying, all the Soul Reapers, and seeing, feeling, seeing all the deaths. And that's what was able. He was able to break out of that prison he was trapped in and break out and came out. I was so happy. It was like whoa. And just it sucks because he's he's helpless. And I. I kind of could feel his pain, like, dude, I want to do something, I want to do something. You have the power to do something to stop this, maybe. And But you're trapped, and he finally broke out, and he, the first person he sees is Bakio dying. And it's like, dude, he probably felt his spiritual pressure fading away. Maybe he could save him. And I, I don't even remember. I thought he, he survived through all this. Maybe he does still, but I I, th I, didn't, I didn't see Bakio die. I was like, wow, we're getting Bakio dying right here? And this is it. Like, dude. That means we lost two major characters in this fight so far. You, if you want to count three, the uh, Yamanoto's right hand man—I forgot his name was uh, the Soji or Soji. I think something. Like that. Oh, forgive me if I forgot his name, but yeah, his right hand man. We, three so far in this war, bodies is dropped. And the way this episode ended, like Yamanoto and everyone—I guess they have a time limit to stay in this realm of the Soul Reapers or something like that. And they all left. The bodies everywhere. They vaporized. They slaughtered the Reapers. Like they got slaughtered a thousand years ago. Dude, this is just a bloody war. And just the fight scene when um, Ichigo fought Yamalaj was very epic and crazy in my book. That's just the beginning. Round one. And Yamalaj was able to dust Ichigo like nothing. Like that. Snap a finger. Just... Kicked his butt. He was shocked a little bit because he found out, whoa. Because he put him down the first try, but he got back up. He was crazy. He got back up. He found out. We learned some new stuff about Ichigo that he has some Quincy inside of him. But freaking, there's some Quincy DNA and it falls with his mother. Was his mother part Quincy as well? well that's some crazy. Ichigo was one some answer too, but he had to wait. Y'all watch wants him. He wanted to uh, get him way back then when he was a kid and turn him into the ultimate weapon he is now basically but part of Quincy imagine that because that's what he said like he wanted him um he wanted to bring him he wanted to catch him he didn't want to kill him he wanted to turn him into a full-on Quincy not a soul reaper like he is now like dude but ah, uh, what a brutal chapter 
see so many captains hurt and uh, lost two big characters, Yamanoto and Bakia, off the bat, damn. And Ichigo getting dust down, you know how they're going to survive the next attack. But there's going to be, they're going to need some power boost, that's all. Because when these um, Stern Raiders come back, all these Quincy's come back, they better be prepared, man. They most likely will. You know, showing stuff. They train, do a little training, quick training arc. When they come back, a week or so, whatever. Um, and they'll be head in hand combat. We see some more great action. But that fight scene when Yama watching Ichigo was crazy. Rainy. I love the rain effect. I love the fighting. I love the when he played the music when Ichigo was down and he was getting beat. Um, beat and they were fighting. That was cool. I loved it. That was a beautiful art right there. Beautiful part. Loved it. Ah, just feeling Ichigo's pain. Just uh, it's gonna be uh, pretty deep to see the casualties of the war and how everyone to the field. Definitely how Rukia and Renji feel that Bakio's dead. Uh, if he's dead or he's severely injured, because he did talk a little bit after uh, Ichigo uh, left. But if he is dead, then damn, they're probably gonna be heartbroken. Uh, same thing with um, Yamnoto. I wonder how, who's gonna be the next head captain. Cause Yamanoto is for sure he got vaporized. It just sucks that he's gone. And he um he we show why he never I uh, like even uh Yamawatch, he was a very powerful guy. You no, know? he was Yamanoto, he wanted to protect the human, he wanted to do this, but he knew he was growing weaker. That's why he, he kind of uh hated Ichigo, not really hated, maybe the, the word is right, not the right word, but he disliked that he couldn't do much that Ichigo did. Like he was, he wasn't able to stop Eisen. Ichigo was, so maybe that's why he, that uh, he felt guilty. That's why he didn't want to recover the arm that Eisen took from. Um, so that's why he remember he needs to get stronger himself because this is his realm. He was a protector. He's the guardian. He's the leader of the Thirteen Card Guard. And Ichigo is coming here being like Superman, doing all his work basically. And so, uh, so and he could have prevailed against this. So even. Y'all want to um y'all watch since that he was growing weak. Maybe, like I said, I wish we get OVA seeing that oh uh, the young Yamato prime Yam uh, That would be sick. Seeing them both go at it around that time. But Yamato watch part wasn't that strong he is now. But uh, it was a great episode all around though. Can't wait for more each Monday. That's what makes great Monday. Bleach Thousand Year War, awesome anime, and I can't wait to see more man. I can't wait. It's going to be a sad next couple of episodes, and we'll see how these, our, our favorite characters get stronger, get ready for part two of the war, and see what happens. But comment below what you think of Bleach episode seven, and what you think of the death of Yamanoto, what you think of the death of Bakio, if he is dead, you think he's dead, I think it's in the 50-50 realm, you know, I think uh, he really got bloody the way they left him, like, uh, it's I don't think nothing could save him now. Maybe Ichigo would have done something, but we'll see. We'll see what the casualty after the war. We'll probably the next episode is gonna show all the casualties, all the characters, and everything. We'll see what happens. But yeah, comment below. I'd like to hear your guys' thoughts. But thank you all for watching my videos again. I appreciate your support. And please hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel if you're new, watching my videos, and hit that notification again to get all my anime reviews and my manga reviews. Tomorrow's Chainsaw Man Tuesday. I can't wait to watch that, watch that and read a manga as well. But thank you all for watching again. Have a good day and good night. Remember, stay nerdy forever. Bye.